What's up guys, it's Damp. Uh, we're going to go through how to utilize the stop and go retrieve as promised. So here is the basics. So we are just fishing for trout in Colorado and this is one of the best spots to land them. So we'll go through the retrieve and the basics. So basically you're going to let your bait settle to the bottom or your lure rather. And um, depending on your reel, the higher the gear ratio, the slower your reel, reel speed that you're going to use. So we're going to try it on one right here for the Prima that we're using. And uh, the drag, we're just going to set at three just for the you know, demonstration of the video. So you're just going to hold your mouse button down, your left mouse button, and you're going to reel it about five feet. And then let go. And reel about five feet. And let go. And it doesn't have to be perfect. But you're going to let your bait settle back to the bottom and then reel again. And you'll begin to see that we're doing the stop and go retrieve. Oh, and we're hooked up. So, please hold while we reel this fish in. I probably should have not fished at peak times. but um, That, as you can tell, is one of the better presentations for landing trout. This one a little bit bigger. So, let's land this guy in. Get him out of the way. There's the trophy that I was trying to do last video, but he didn't cooperate. And then we're going to move back to casting again. So we're going to go back. We're at about 80 to 90 feet. And same thing. We're going to let our bait hit the bottom. Of course, I cast it too far, but that's all right. Reel about five feet. Watch it settle. Reel about five feet. Watch it settle. And you really want to use a really slow retrieve for this. Um, the slower, the better, especially when you're fishing for the trout. Now, depending on the species and depending on the temperature of the air, which obviously affects the temperature of the water, we missed that one. Um, the higher the temperature, typically the faster the retrieve you will utilize. Because as the water temperature warms up, the fish activity increases. Now, that depends on the species, but just generically speaking, that's what happens. Now, it doesn't mean fish in the middle of the day, and it doesn't mean fish when it's 100 degrees out. They don't like that necessarily either. But... The cooler the air, the slower the retrieve, generally speaking, in real life. That's based off of being a marine scientist and working in a bait shop. So this is the retrieve you're going to use. Now, we probably won't hook up, so we already had a bite that we missed. But that's how you do the stop and go. It's really easy, and it's really effective for a lot of different species. You can use it for smallmouth. Um, I've gotten crappie with it. Um, they're just going to reel about four or five feet and then let go. The key is finding the right reel speed for your reel based off your gear ratio. The higher your gear ratio, the faster your retrieve is going to be, whether you like it or not. So if you have any more questions, watch my reel video that I just posted a little bit ago. It'll be on the playlist. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you later.